Hi, I'm Paul Torgerson. It's Monday, June 27th, 2022, and this is a look at the information security news from overnight. From Bleeping Computer, TB Kawashima, part of the Toyota group of companies, announced that one of its subsidiaries had been hit by a cyber attack. The company responded by turning off all systems and devices in the network and says that production has not been impacted, but their website was down. No confirmation from the company, but the LockBit ransomware group has claimed responsibility and started leaking data supposedly acquired in the attack. From Security Week, Iranian state-owned Khuzestan Steel Company, one of three in the country, had to stop work until further notice following a cyber attack. The company's CEO claimed they were able to thwart the attack and prevent structural damage to production lines. In a bit of a lucky break, it appears that the attack at least partially failed because the factory happened to be non-operational at the time due to an electricity outage. From Portswigger, Oracle has finally patched a remote code execution vulnerability impacting Oracle Fusion middleware and other Oracle systems. The vulnerability, dubbed Miracle Exploit, carries a 9.8 severity and is said to be easily exploitable. The bug was found on accident while researchers were building a proof of concept for a different zero day. Oracle was first notified of the flaw back in October of last year and has now issued a fix. Get your patch on them, kids. From Security Week, cryptographers at a Swiss university have found at least five exploitable security flaws in the privacy-themed mega cloud storage service that could lead to devastating attacks on the confidentiality and integrity of user data in the mega cloud. The company released an advisory and patches, but said the vulnerabilities would be exceedingly difficult to exploit, basically requiring mega to become a bad actor against itself. And last today from the Hacker News, Codasys has released patches to address 11 security flaws in its ICS automation software, two of which were rated critical, that could result in information disclosure and denial of service. These vulnerabilities are considered simple to exploit and impacted at least seven of their programmable logic controller applications. More details in the article. That's all for me today. Have a great rest of your day. Like and subscribe. And until tomorrow, be safe out there.